Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how to create GCP cloud function using Python and Flask. You will learn how to deploy the cloud function on GCP, how to use it unauthorized so that anyone with the link can use it and you can use your GCP cloud function as webhook to any platforms like for WhatsApp webhook, through Twilio, for Telegram webhook or for webhook on Dialogflow, CX and ES platform. So let's get started. Before we move forward into the tutorial, I would like to show you that I have a community on nas.io about chatbots. In case you are interested in learning more about chatbots, then you can connect to me through this community. I run free events on different topics related to chatbot on this community as well. Second, in case you are interested learning Google Dialogflow technology end to end, then you can watch out my course on Udemy which is Master Google Dialogflow Build Smart Chatbots. Now, let's move to our tutorial. Before we move forward, you need to have account with GCP. Second, you need to have billing enable on GCP. Cause GCP cloud function requires that you have billing enable. But don't worry about billing. Cause if you are testing or if you are using it under the quota, free quota, then you, Google will not gonna charge you. Now, in order to build GCP cloud function, Google has built a Python package called functions framework Python. First, let's take Python flask starter code. Okay, we will first build our starter code and then convert that into GCP cloud function. So for that, I'll come here and I'll say main.py. Now make sure that you name your file as main.py cause GCP requires your file name to be main. Now I'll paste the code here. Now, in Python, we don't install packages on global environment. We must create a virtual environment and then install all the required packages for that project into it. So for that, I'm gonna create a virtual environment using venv module and the name of my virtual environment is venv. Oh, sorry, I forgot hyphen. Now I'll source from my virtual environment. Then I'll come here on GCP uh, GitHub page for the functions framework Python and we need to install functions framework. So I'll copy that. I'll come here and I'll paste the command. This will also install flask so we don't you know have to worry about running this code through flask now i'll save this and let me clear this and if i say python main.py oh sorry i forgot uh, if underscore underscore name is equals to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then app dot run okay and let me save this now if i run it you will see that the application running on port 5000 local host and we see hello world so this application is running using python and flask nice now 
we want to convert this into a GCP cloud function. So for that, I'll come here and I'll import this line. Okay. Then we just need to use this thing over our function instead of this two things. And yeah, let me use this as well. Okay, so don't worry about this two thing. It just says that this is this request is flask request and we are sending this uh, response return value now let me save this and if i come here again you will see that this is the command with which we can run it locally so i will run it locally i'll stop my previous uh, flask server and then i'll use functions framework hyphen hyphen target equals to yell uh, hello make sure the target and your function name must be same and then in debug and when i save it name flask did you mean flask oh i'm not sure why i faced the error maybe yeah cause this should be flask i guess okay oh I guess I'm not sure why. Okay, let's do one thing. My bad. Import flask here. And let's do this way. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that the server is running on 8080 and we got our hello fold. So this is how you can build your Firebase function and test it locally. Once you are satisfied with uh, the working of the function, then you can deploy it on server. So I'll stop this local development server. And let's look into how to deploy it. So if I come here, uh there must be a deploy command somewhere mm, i'm not sure why it is not here install 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 okay let me try my version so gcloud functions uh, deploy and then my function name is hello and my runtime should be uh, python 3.10 uh, let me get the run times uh, i'm not sure how to uh, let's say uh, gcp uh, cloud functions Python uh, runtime. Okay. Oh, oops. Yeah. So this is how you can. Uh, so runtime. So this needs to be okay. So instead of this, uh, we need to. Uh, okay my function name is hello and then runtime and trigger my runtime is in my local machine it is 3.10 so i'll choose that and hopefully when i hit enter Yeah, let's yeah, it's it is asking me for, you know, 
either you want to enable unauthenticated invocation so that anyone with the link can use it so i'll say yes and i guess this will be fast cause our function doesn't have any uh, the dependencies as well so if i come here and yeah I, if i go to cloud functions you will see hello cloud function is being deployed at this very moment and if i click here you will see bunch of information about it it is being deployed so it will take a uh, few seconds i guess to appear but here in the testing you can test it and this is the url of your function yeah function is still being deployed um, okay i'll not wait for it to deploy because i know this will work uh, i'm sure that you have gained some knowledge out of this video and yeah you can see the function is deployed and uh, this is the url if i click here you will see hello world as well so i'm sure that you have gained some knowledge out of this video uh, you you have learned how to build python flask gcp cloud function locally test it and then deploy it on server if you like my content please subscribe to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace